Hola muchachos. Welcome back to the boys fanfix. Please stop touching my toes. <laughs> oh, we got something real special for you. We're going to be reading fanfics all together, baby. It's not like the other fanfics. What do you mean? We're acting out the fanfics. Whoa. First time the five of us are together in a room doing this, and I'm trying my best not to lay my head on Molly's lap. This is going to be slow <laughs> and steamy. It's okay, Eddie. It's okay. And see. <sighs> Here we are. Yeah. First one's you and me, big boy. This is a narrator X juicy fanfic. Is this a first in the series? This is. This is a first in the and series. So I don't think I've ever been rammed by you before in a fanfic. So. <laughs> I was gonna say, juicy, you would not make it through the night. No. No, I'd be good to you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, um, daddy. You woke. <laughs> Chapter one, narrator and juicy. Narrator. Hmm? Looking over, I felt worried. Juicy was frowning with a little bit of tears flowing down his already soaked face. I walked over to him. Are you okay? I asked, rubbing his shaking hands gently. Am I just a no-no song? He asked, staring into my soul. I feel like I'm only used for it. I frowned, <laughs> with a grunt cupping his chin, making his eyes meet mine. I will be honest with what I think you are. I coughed, ready for a speech. <laughs> the foe f***ing cough. Yeah, I, the, yeah. <clears throat> I believe you're more than a song. You're sweet. You're funny. You're fun to be around. I don't care what anybody else says. I like you because of you. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's gay. Juicy's eyes turned watery as he started to cry. Thank you so much. But wait, you like me? <laughs> I gulped, feeling my face burn up in a comforting way. Yeah, a, a boyfriend if you want, but... We can still stay f frit friend. I stopped when Juicy put his finger over my lips before kissing. <laughs> <laughs> he tasted like caramel, the kind that you wish would stay forever and never let you go. I want to be your boyfriend. Juicy say <laughs> with a. <laughs> <laughs> Who the f wrote this? <laughs> I smiled, hugging him while smelling his scent. Is that that one was sweet? That one was that was sweet. that was wholesome. Like it was a very it was a very wholesome story. Yeah, Is was, that the whole thing? Yeah, that's it. That's literally it. We have to ease the people in. All right, we're starting with the wholesome boy, and you can't just go right into just f the bottom. Chapter two, Josh X Juicy. As I sat my headphones on my gaming desk, I heard a cabinet slam in the kitchen. As I sat up in the chair, a realization hit me. Juicy had visited me for a few weeks. He'd been here for about three days and I made him a little setup beside my own. We'd been dating for a little while and had just announced it to everyone. I walked out of my room to see Gage leaning up against a cabinet. His facial expression explained everything on why he had slammed the cabinet shut. He was upset. Gage? You okay? I walked over to him and sat against the kitchen table. He just looked at me and turned around, grabbing a cup out of the cabinet. Are you ignoring me? He continued to walk over the fridge and grab apple juice out. I felt my eyebrows furrow. My smile turned into a frown. Baby! Gage continued to pour himself a cup of juice and walk out of the kitchen, leaving Josh to question why he was doing so. Josh followed a few steps behind him. What did I do? Josh felt his heart ache, noticing that he was the one Gage was mad at. He gave Josh a look that signaled he didn't want to talk to him. He was mainly upset because of how rude Josh was to him <laughs> when they played Among Us, especially how he... <laughs> Basically flirted with Molly in front of him. Josh was quick to run to Gage, hugging him from behind. He wrapped his arms around the smaller man's waist. 
And as he felt him jump a little by the touch. I'm so <laughs> Gage struggled to get away from Josh's hug, finally escaping it after fighting for some time. He glanced back to his boyfriend, then proceeded to walk to his bedroom, flopping onto his mini sofa. <sighs> Josh walked into Juicy's room and leaned against the door frame, crossing his arms. You can't ignore me forever, juice box. <laughs> <laughs> Gage pulled out his phone and continued to act as if there was no one to be found in his room. Gage! <laughs> you you scared dogs! <laughs> Answer me, goddammit! Juicy felt himself tear up and licked his lips, trying to hide the water welling in his eyes. Josh sighed. Juicy was quick to sit up and move to his bed, but the older man grabbed his arm. Enough, Gage! Why are you being so stuck up? You've been ignoring me without giving me a reason as to why! Gage looked down at Josh and felt more tears escape his eyes. <laughs> Leave me alone! Go back to flirting with Molly! Juicy quickly walked out of the room and into the bathroom, locking the door behind him. Chapter 3, Eddie and Narrator. My POV. Oh. Me and the boys were playing TTT in VR, of course. We weren't really playing it, we were just goofing around. We were doing a skit where Narrator was being pervert Pete. I honestly think Narrator's a f***ing amazing person. He's talented, funny, knows some Spanish, cute, and f Wait, I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't say that, and I'm very straight. So you come back here and I'll let you nibble on my sweets. Man, don't go back there, fool! I hear narrator let out a little laugh away from my microphone. <laughs> but why? <laughs> <laughs> Man, because, fool, that's Pete. Oh, sorry guys, someone's at my door. I'll be back. Narrator said, going almost into his regular boys, but not really. All right, don't get murdered, boys, I said jokingly. POV. Me. I walk to my living room and see my psycho ex standing at the door, her face red from anger. What do you want? I said coldly as I opened the door. Baby, please! I know you say you're gay, but come on, it's a phase, and I know you feel this connection. <laughs> she said giving me her trademark plastic ass smile. <laughs> First off, it's not a phase. It's who I am, and who I am is someone who doesn't want to be with your crazy ass, I said, trying to stay somewhat calm before slamming the door shut in our face, making sure I locked it this time. I walked back to my recording studio. All right, I'm back, but I need to run. Okay, man, take care. Eddie said, his voice softer than usual. I could feel my heart get caught in my throat. POV Eddie. Me and the guys play for a little while longer, but I eventually decide to leave. Narrator's words playing over and over in my head there was clearly something wrong. I'm gonna fly all the way over to him house as a surprise and he is going to be there and he is going to be okay with me being there unannounced because that's how it works every time. I quickly pull out my phone to text Josh since he is like the ringleader of the shit we do. Hey fool, what's narrator's address? I'm gonna surprise visit him. Oh, like whenever you find out your crush is feeling down so you fly over to see them and they are okay with it no matter what? See. Si. All right. Narrator's address. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. What? Wait. What? His protection. <laughs> Chupa la polla de muli. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> my mom's gonna watch this. <laughs> I turn off my phone and book a ticket for the next flight, which leaves in like six hours. Hell yeah! All right. I can feel my pocket vibrating violently. Twenty-one text messages from Josh. I smile and turn off my phone. I pack my bags and lay down, my mind running through the text messages Josh sent. Wait! God damn it. I didn't sign up for feeling. What the f? Time skip. My POV. I'm what? Why the f am I watching Sherlock? Anyway, I'm watching Sherlock on Netflix, curled up in a blanket. Gavin and Microsoft are gay for each other. So is Juan, and the three pack problem in. Miss Hudson is right. She always is, and Morty is hot as f. After I yell that, I get it from my bed and stretch sitting like that it's not good for my back. When I heard something hit my window, I squint, but it's dark, so I can't really see them. 
I opened my window, hoping it was somebody I knew. The second I heard the first sentence come out of their mouth, I knew exactly who it was. Hola, narrador. He said, rolling the R and whistling. I could feel my heart go dokey dokey. What the actual f***? I said, wondering if I'm actually awake or not. Baby, let me in. It's cold outside. He said, singing <laughs> the last part of it. I smiled softly at the idiot standing outside my house before going downstairs and opening the door for him. He runs over to the door and hugs me. I quickly wrap my arms around him and lifting him up into the hug. Ah, oh, you <laughs> Why are you here? You did the my crush over the internet sound sad. So I'm going to fly over to them and everything is going to work out perfectly thing, didn't you? Maybe? Do you want to just skip to where we kiss? <laughs> I ask, going into my narrator voice. He smirks and grabs the collar of my shirt, pulling me in for a kiss. It takes me a moment to realize what was happening. Once I do, I wrap one arm around his waist and one grabbing the back of his neck. After what feels like decades, we pull away. Damn, that wasn't long enough. He just put his head into my chest, giggling uncontrollably. <laughs> <laughs> I smile softly, keeping my arms wrapped around him. I guess it always works out then. And <laughs> he said, still laughing. I guess it does. I said, my chin reading the top of his head. Well, this has been a weird day. A good day, but weird nonetheless. Who the f was on acid writing this? <laughs> Someone was definitely writing that one-handed. <laughs> <laughs> chapter 4. The final chapter. Eddie. Ex Molly. Bottom. The boys had met up again for a fanfic video, but in real life. They were all hyped about the weird nonsense they would read together. Josh and Juicy would be sleeping on the big couch, and Nero would be in his own room. Molly was the last one to be ready, as he walked out of the bathroom from getting dressed, Eddie was watching him, and he walked out of the room. He had been staring at him looking pretty sharp in his suit and tie. You like what you see? Eddie's eyes opened a bit wider, surprised with the thing that Molly had said to him. His zoned out thought of Molly in bed with him was interrupted by Juicy running loudly into the room asking if they were ready to record. Are you ready to record? <laughs> <laughs> they both said that they were ready. We're ready! And scattered to the room they were recording. They all sat down and started the recording. They were talking back and forth, reading the fanfic. Eddie's thoughts of Molly had gotten stronger. And before he knew it, the video was over and it was bedtime. Eddie and Molly had gotten ready for bed and sat down and started messing around. Both were joking around, messing with the LED light remote that was in their temporary room. Molly and Eddie were both secretly thinking about each other's <laughs> As they were laughing, searching through the colors, narrator had opened their bedroom door, saying that the rest of the boys were going to bed. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Two cute little giggles, he's playing in bed, go. We're playing in bed! <laughs> <laughs> the boys said goodnight. Good night. Good night. Good night. Molly had the remote flipping through each color. Then he clicked the color to red. Molly looked up from the remote to Eddie, and Eddie stared right back. They had been sitting near each other, having a good time for a bit, but they didn't realize how close they were to each other. The tension had been building up for hours, as they both wanted relief from it. They both leaned in, and Eddie put his hands around Molly's inner thighs and squeeze them a bit. Molly moaned into the messy, passionate kiss. Mm. The sounds Molly had made seemed to cause them both to get pretty oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie swiftly flipped Molly over onto his stomach and they both started to get by the second. Eddie lined himself up to Molly's entrance as Molly had begged for more and for Eddie to enter him. Enter me! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Eddie put a f as they both f noises of pleasure. 
<laughs> Stop crying. Making noises of pleasure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he was about to release himself and pulled out a bit too quick, owning up like sound from. I'm a now. As he was about <laughs> overestimated from. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, come on, bro. <laughs> That's not <laughs> the next morning. Everyone woke up to Josh yelling and screaming. <laughs> and, and everyone ran into the living room to see what was going on. Apparently, Juicy was standing over Josh covered in nacho cheese. He's covered in nacho cheese! I'm covered in nacho cheese. <laughs> <laughs>